So Chris, we're here at the HSBC Sevens World Series in the beautiful Twickenham Stadium in London. How have you enjoyed the rugby so far today? Obviously being injured, not able to play yourself. Yeah, well, apart Sorry from that, thanks for reminding me. No, it's been a fantastic day. I mean, the carnival atmosphere that Sevens provides, it's, it's been fantastic. You're a professional Sevens player. How do you see the contrast between the two, between the two disciplines and going forward? Um, I don't think there's massive difference apart from the fitness element and the, the fact that your, your, your core skills are under such a fine magnifying glass. So I think they both help each other and I think if sevens can help 15s and vice versa. Um, going forward, I definitely think that you know sevens is going to become such a massive spectacle around the world. It's a global sport I and mean, it's the national sport in places like Kenya and things like that. And you've got such a great depth in the, in the World Series that you don't know who's going to win. Obviously, first experience of sevens was Middlesex for you. How has it, uh, has it sort of changed over the years, do you think? Um, well, it's changed in that I wasn't allowed to play it after, <laughs> uh, after I was about 19. Um, but yeah, I just think it's evolved massively, obviously. When, when I played sevens back in the late 90s, early 2000s, it was, it was because the club allowed you to go away for a weekend and just play sevens. You did very little training. Um, you know, you might have a couple of sessions a week in the week in the, in the build up to the tournament. But, but now sevens is a professional sport. You know, it's, a, it's, it's almost a completely different entity from, from 15s. It's a, it's a professional discipline in its own right. And uh, you guys, as, as you well know, you know, the conditioning that you have is, is, is tailored for these specific games, you know, the 10 minute games, the seven minutes, you know, and to do it over and over again during the course of a day is something that I think a lot of most 15s players wouldn't be able to do it. I certainly wouldn't be able to. <laughs> it's a shame you didn't get to play more. I, I honestly, I would have I loved yeah, to so. play more. I mean, as a kid, sevens I loved. You know, I was reasonably quick, actually, as a back rower. You know, for, for the majority of my career until you get to a certain age where it starts going the other way, sadly. <laughs> but, you know, it's such a great breeding ground for, for your skill set, for your talent. I loved it. It's such a great game for the young, young, young kids coming through to learn and hone their skills. I feel that uh, the schools program that uh, the HSBC provide is definitely going to sort of hopefully bring that, you know, bring that pathway on of young players coming through and hopefully make, make you know, the, the, the next future of English rugby have a higher skill set and a higher sort of training regime understanding of what, what it takes. Chris, good to meet you, buddy. And you. Enjoy the rest of the tournament and uh, I wish you a speedy recovery with your injury. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers.